Hi there, I'm Linda, and this is Hutton's Valley Permaculture. One of the joys of having a large vegetable garden is being able to share it. Tomorrow I'm seeing my two sons, so today's harvest is all for them. Now I've got a basket each, so I'm just going to see what we've got to fill these up with, starting with zucchini. Once production starts with zucchini during summer, you can pretty much rely on harvests any day you want to have a look. I've got a few different plants, so I can get zucchinis at different sizes. That one's a nice medium sized zucchini. Well, this is a mega zucchini. I kind of missed this one, I think. That's more a size that I'd cut up for the chickens. I'm getting in here for this one. This one is super long, but it um, should be great for actually zucchini noodles. Zucchini noodles with uh, sort of a, a pasta sauce or uh, in an Asian style soup, maybe. Now this smaller zucchini plant has smaller little zucchini, so I'll grab one of those and just here is another perfect size zucchini. I think I can sneak a couple more zucchinis. Okay, three each is good. There's lots you can do with zucchini, so I'm sure they'll make something of them. Right here is my cucumber plants. Now, one of them is productive, and I think it's got two cucumbers on there, so I'll be able to give one to each of the boys. Wow, look at all those flowers just there. Here's a beauty just hanging there. And down the bottom, I think we've got another one. So I'll grab both of those out. And while we're in this neck of the woods, I think there's going to be plenty of beautiful purple beans that are hiding on this trellis. And I've also got some green beans here and I've got another lot of beans just down a bit. So I'm going to grab some of the younger beans here. This is my scarlet runner bean. And this massive wall of beans is my lazy housewife beans, which has just kicked into production. That'll probably do them for beans. Also hiding in this garden with my bean wall and my sweet potatoes that are starting to take over, is a little patch of spring onions. So I'll grab out some of those if I can get to them. Just need to tuck in all the sweet potato plants and uh, make sure the beans are going up again. <laughs> I think a few carrots would be nice in the baskets. If I can get them out of here. They say to push them down and then pull, but I can't ever push them down far enough. Oh, there's a nice twin carrot.
Oh, wow. That's a beauty. There's a bunch of carrots in here that probably need a bit of thinning. I can get them out. Oh, here's my first snapped carrot. Oh, that one's better. And another, and maybe one more. I find that home-growing carrots are so much sweeter than the store-bought ones. And I'll just cut all these tops off before adding to the baskets because I can throw those to the chickens. There we go, a nice bit of colour in the baskets. Now, just here in my potato patch, I should be able to rummage around and grab them a few potatoes. Yeah, that's a good one. Hello, Truff. You coming to see what I'm doing? This is little Truffle. She's a forever chicken. She was one of my first chickens that I got seven years ago. So she's got a free pass in life. She always gets out to see what I'm up to. And I'm up to finding potatoes. Just have another rummage in around here. I'll avoid those green ones. All right, I think we've probably got enough. Now I'm just going to leave those potatoes with a bit of soil still on them, but pop them in a paper bag so they don't get everything else dirty. Now there are various greens I could be grabbing, but I'll leave those because they won't keep as long and I don't want to overload them. And there's a few beetroot that I could grab, but I don't know if they'd eat them. Now I will be plucking some of this basil to give them, but I might leave that till in the morning just before I leave. Another thing that's fantastic to be able to grab out of your garden and I'll be doing this tomorrow so they're nice and fresh, is gathering a bunch of beautiful flowers. I'm gonna gather a bunch of flowers for my son's partner, who's having us there tomorrow, just as a little thank you. And to finish off, we're just gonna grab some snow peas. Now all I've got to add is a dozen eggs and some of the plums that I've recently harvested and that should take care of some groceries for them this week. Oi, oi, oi! No! Gosh! Oi, back! No! Hey, oi, oi, oi! No! No, you can't have any. I'll give you some bad ones later. It's pretty good having home produce. I'm not in charge of the food my sons have these days, but it does feel good to be able to send them some good organic produce that's been grown with love. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.